people who have been watching the videos on this channel for a long time have probably heard me credit a source called the Teenage Roblog. In my opinion, this blog is one of the most important tools for unraveling the history of my life as a teenage robot. As time goes on, the more likely it is that people aren't familiar with the concept of blogs, leaving the Teenage Roblog to fall into obscurity. Because of this, I'd like to highlight this treasure trove of information about our favorite show. Back in 2003, while the show was in its infancy, the Teenage Roblog was created using a blog creator called Blogspot. It was created by Rob Renzetti and other staff who worked on the series. Some active members included Alex Kerwin, Fred Seibert, XJ Ryder, and Rob Renzetti himself. They wanted to show fans what happens behind the scenes and give them a chance to interact with the people who make the show possible. Whether it be cut content, announcements regarding the status of the show, or fun fan art, the Teenage Roblog was the place to go. We got to see early designs of Misty, Jenny, Sheldon, and more. If the Roblog didn't exist, all of this information could have been lost. Unlike services like Discord or Twitter, content on this blog was only able to be uploaded by moderators. Regular users were only able to comment. While this may have been a bummer when the blog was active, it made it a lot easier to find posts of interest. When I researched for videos, I don't need to sift through pages of original characters. Inevitably, the crew found out that there wouldn't be a fourth season of Teenage Robot, and they had to let the Roblog know. Mr. Renzetti explained that they knew for a while, but didn't want to ruin the enthusiasm that fans had for the show. The production crew of the show have left behind completely so they could work on other projects. However, they did give moderator access to someone who went by Witchobot around this point. We'll be referring to him as Luis from now on. Luis ran another Teenage Roblog called Teenage Roblog X, which leans into the NSFW side of the fandom a little more. Rob Renzetti himself invited Luis to moderate the Teenage Roblog. At this point, the Roblog wasn't a place for the crew to share behind-the-scenes details with fans. That aspect of the Roblog couldn't happen with the production crew gone. Luis did his best to keep the Roblog going. He would post fan art much like XJ Ryder did before him. You might recognize some of the artwork he posted. Some of it is incredibly iconic in this community. When Season 3 episodes would air in foreign countries, he would tell people how to access them early. These means were questionable, but Teenage Robot fans had no choice unless they wanted to wait two more years for the episodes to be aired normally. Every now and then, Renzetti would post, but Luis was basically in charge of the Roblog indefinitely. The Teenage Roblog is the oldest My Life as a Teenage Robot fan group which is still standing. It defies the odds, and after 16 years of existence, it's still there. But is it still active? Unfortunately, as I said before, only moderators have the ability to post. Despite his love for the community and clear dedication to the show, even Luis called it quits around 2011. At this point, the show was long over and the fandom was at its lowest point. For any fan who decided to visit the Roblog after 2011, this post was the first to greet you, and it doesn't look like that's going to change. That is, until 2017. After six years of nothing, Luis returned with another post. It was titled, Please Stand By, implying that there was more to come. The comments expressed doubt, but excitement. Maybe, after all this time, the Roblog was about to make its grand return. But no, as of October 2020, this is the last post on the Teenage Roblog. I attempted to reach out to Witchobot for an interview, but the email he provided on Blogspot was deleted by the time I tried. At first, this might seem tragic, but we need to understand how much the internet has changed since 2004. In 2004, Facebook was brand new. Social media was nowhere as big as it is today, which is why blogs were able to be successful. Realistically, I'm not sure how many people would tune into the Roblog when they have other places where they have more options to interact with other fans. I look at the Teenage Roblog as an archive of information that would be lost otherwise, and I'm honestly a little concerned that it could go down. I'm hoping that someone is keeping an archive of it if it goes down. 
The Teenage Roblox is responsible for the creation of so many of our videos, and I figured that it was worth talking about on its own. I purposefully limited how much of the blog I would show in this video to encourage you to check it out. We left a link to it in the description. Maybe you'll even learn about a future fanbase topic before we talk about it. Have fun searching! While the Roblox is out of date and inactive, our Discord isn't. Well, at least, not yet. Join it using the link below. I've been your narrator, Andre. Thanks for watching. watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment. Or check out our other platforms. Links are in the description. What the hell are you talking about? Just a minute ago, you called me a damn cat.